everybody knows Miss Pac-Man. It was the ever-popular sequel to the ever-popular original game Pac-Man. And it was a huge, 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 huge hit. In 1991, it was ported to the Sega Genesis by Tengen. And they made a couple of changes that I was not aware of until I played this recently. Let's pop it in the old Sega Genesis and give it a try. Now, I must confess, although I get uh, a little bit of grief on my uh, YouTube channel about my skills, because some people think I apparently lack some skills in the video game department, I must admit that I am a world-class Miss Pac-Man player. Literally. I'm, I mean, I could probably enter a contest and, and win a cash prize or something. I'm that good. I can play this game in my sleep with one eye closed, you know, drunk at four in the morning and still get to, like, the 127th level. No problem. And I have to admit, I never really gave Miss Pac-Man a try on the Genesis, because, frankly, uh, I think the game sucks when you play it with anything but a joystick. I, I mean, it just doesn't... it's not the same. It doesn't work the same. It doesn't feel the same. You can't pull off the same moves. So I was, uh, you know, reluctant to play this game on the Sega Genesis, using just the uh, Sega Genesis controller, because I don't have a Sega Genesis uh, joystick. But that being said, there's a couple of things that really make this game interesting. One, it's not all that bad with the Sega Genesis controller. And two, is the funky, fucked up modes that you can play in this game. First of all, you can play two-player simultaneous gameplay, and that could be co uh, competitive or cooperative, which is a whole interesting new level right there. Uh, Second, there's something called the Pack Booster that you can use on these uh, funky modes, which basically uh, makes Pac-Man, or Miss Pac-Man, I should say, move really, really fast. Right now, on this mode, I have it set that uh, the A or C button trigger it, and you can turn it on and off at your leisure. Now, while it's an interesting and novel concept, this Pack Booster, you know, speed up uh, gameplay with uh, Miss Pac-Man only and not with the ghosts, uh, it essentially makes the game super easy. But there are all kinds of funky maze options you can also uh, use and play in addition to just the uh, the new features of the pack uh, booster or the uh, simultaneous two-player gameplay. Now we are looking uh, back at the regular arcade mode, which is more or less a uh, an arcade port. Pretty much about as pure as it gets. Um, not exactly the same as the arcade, but pretty darn close. The graphics are enhanced a bit, um, and look a bit Sega Genesis-y, if that's a word. Um, doesn't have a real true arcade graphics feel to it. They uh, compensated for the uh, screen dimensions of the original arcade, the screen proportions, by making the screen uh, scroll up or down uh, to fit the original uh, screen perspective. Which is, you know, there's two ways you can do it. You can either do it this way, or you can shrink the screen uh, and have a big uh, amount of blank space on the right and left. And uh, actually, this uh, this technique right here with the scrolling up and down uh, isn't that distracting for this game. Now, while this game is very, very playable, more playable than I thought, uh, in the arcade mode with the Sega Genesis controller, um, it's still no substitute for the arcade joystick. So I have to tell you, this game, you know, really surprised me. I expected a, uh, more or less a straight arcade port, nothing too exciting, maybe some bad controls because you have to use a, uh, a, a thumb pad to control Miss Pac-Man. But I was, uh, I was genu genuinely surprised. I mean, this game is, uh, pretty good. And it's quite affordable, actually, because it's, uh, not all that rare. It's a pretty common game. If you're interested in purchasing this Pac-Man for the Sega Genesis, I'll put a link in the description to the Classic Games Revisited store. I have it available in three flavors. Cartridge only, cartridge in box, or cartridge box and manual. And there you have it, Miss Pac-Man for the Sega Genesis. Now, I could play this game all night long and not die, like literally, uh, because I, I'm just a Miss Pac-Man expert. So I just have to uh, shut the game off and end it here. 
I'm Dami from Classic Games Revisited. Until next time.